Hey everyone, how are you? Um, Sharon here, ready for a bit of a DIY project, but also if you read the description of the live just now, I'm going to be unboxing our brand new, well brand new to me, brand new to my online shop. Sorry, I'm leaning over here to just check my live. live. Whoops, there we go. And um, so I can see some comments right here on the screen. As you join in, hi Barb, how are you today? So if you're in Australia, these are now available on my website. And if you're in Brisbane, they'll be coming soon this week to the Camp Hill Antique Centre upstairs. These are the Two Fussy Blokes rollers and they were in, um, created by obviously Two Fussy Painters who uh, really wanted a great quality product for their um, painting needs and purposes. So they come in the minis which are perfect for furniture painting. So I'm going to be using some today and showing you how I upcycle these canvases. So these just had a canvas on it, got them from an op shop. I, had, I have two here, two of these frames. So I just removed the canvas from them. They probably had a picture on them of some kind or someone did a painting. I look for the good quality frames that look like this and then I can make a farmhouse sign using that. So I've done a, a live on this before on how I create these. Um, so there's that. That's I remove the canvas, so I take all the staples out, just get a handy dandy staple remover. Hi Karen from Kansas, awesome. So there's some people from USA here today. Hey guys, if you're in the USA, don't forget the Essential Stencil has just released their brand new stencils today. And um, you can get those on pre-order from today. Some fun ones there. They don't ship to, the, uh, to Australia, unfortunately. So yeah, guys, if you're joining from the USA, that's my special for you today is to remember to put in my code, I restore stuff over at Essential Stencil when you're ordering their brand new stencils. They've got some coffee ones, they've got some great farmhouse ones, some lovely signs there. If you're in Australia, we're going to un unbox these two Fussy Blokes rollers. So they're all about eco-friendly, environmentally friendly packaging, as you can see by their recycled card. Oops, I opened the wrong end because I think that the frame, it's got a gorgeous, lovely wooden handle frame, really easy to manoeuvre. So what we're going to be rollering today on this fine Saturday is um, the boards that will actually go inside the frames that I've upcycled, so the canvases. So what I've done is I've just cut, well I didn't, my handy dandy father-in-law cut these for me. It's just plywood, really thin plywood and that's what I'm going to put my sign on to go on the back of the frame that I've removed the canvas from. So if you've seen me do these before, it's such an easy, fun way to, oh, we put them on the back. So I staple those to the back. It'll have a gorgeous white board here once we roll it it today. And I'll be able to stencil a sign on it. So I use my essential stencils for that. Um, and yeah, I just mentioned that before. If you don't have the link, I'll, I'll pop that here in the comments for those who are from the USA. Hopefully after COVID and vaccinations and all the things have rolled out, we'll, Essential Stencil may ship again to Australia, which would be fun. Okay, so here's our two Fussy Blokes rollers. Comes in a handy dandy packaging. I'm doing a little unboxing here today, a bit exciting. So I'm now stocking these. I'm one of their newest retailers. And there's the, the uh, really sturdy handle and it comes with two microfiber rollers. So they're microfiber and there's one smooth and one semi-smooth. Now you can see the difference here. See how one's a little bit fluffier and this one's a little bit um, smoother. So less fluffy, let's say, <laughs> less fluffy. So they're color coded guys. So the smooth roller is red or pink or orange. No, it's kind of reddish orange and the um, semi-smooth is green. So when you've got first have got all got a brand new microfiber roller, you want to just kind of um, remove some of the fluff, sort of like when you've got brand new brushes, you want to just make sure that all the, any little spare bits of fluff are removed from those. Um, the difference is in the nap. So you can see they come, you can buy the ones with the roller handle or you can get the ones that are just in a pack. These are the refills. So obviously you get yourself a one with the roller, it comes with two of those, and then you can get these little refill, refills for the minis. So these will be in my shop at Camp Hill this week if you're in Brisbane, but if you're in Australia, shipping Australia wide as from now, they're right on my website, irestorestuff.com. 
So I'm going to be rollering these today they, and I'll be using the smooth. So the difference is the nap. These are five millimeter nap and these ones a little bit fluffier with a 10 millimeter nap. That's the semi smooth, okay? So for this purpose, I'm just wanting a really nice silky smooth finish and they brag to be um, almost as good as a spray finish. Well, a spray like finish is how they say it. So we just pop that on there. So another way, so to get less brush strokes is to use a microfiber roller or spray your pieces of furniture. And I don't know about you, but sometimes it's just to me a lot of a hassle to get the sprayer out. This is gonna be super duper and quick. Um, I'm actually gonna be using another brand new product that I haven't even announced here yet. I've, if you're on my email list, you would have seen my email that I've got two uh, product lines being launched this week. One is the rollers and look, they come in the larger sizes also. Packs of three, packs of 10, at irestorestuff.com, shipping Australia wide. The other products that I'm releasing this week, and almost at my door, I received some, I received one box of five boxes of these massive boxes of Artisan's brand new mineral paint. Check it out. This is the color cotton, and it's a gorgeous white. It's a mineral paint. Yes, Artisan, the Aussie brand, has a mineral paint now, and so you can get those. Um, from uh, my shop as well. So you can pre-order those. They are arriving to my house this week. So what I'm gonna do is point you down here a little bit so you can see what we're rollering today. So rolling on, if you've got any questions about the rollers, um, let me know, but we've got our boards that are just a, uh, what do you call that? Oh, I had the word right before. Not um, particle board, it's gonna to come to me. And I've put alfoil on my tray because it was not looking pretty. It had lots of paint in it that had dried out. So all I'm going to do is pop some of this cotton. Look at that gorgeous white color. And I've got my roller handy because what I want to do is just pop a little bit in there and then roll off the edge so that it's not so... Oops, you can't see that, but I've got a cloth here that's wet and handy, ready to wipe that off the side of my jar. All right, um, plywood, thank you guys. Yes, I knew someone had helped me out in the comments there. All right, so I probably should have, and what it says, where did I read that? Rinse and spin before you begin. It says on the box here, rinse and spin before you begin. So what I should have done was probably rinsed it, spun it a bit before I started. I'm not sure how much paint I'm gonna have to use for this, so we're just gonna give it a good old go. I'm using Artisan's brand new mineral paint. Um, in the color cotton, which is a white. So whites always tend to use a little bit more, need a bit more coverage. I've actually filled up the roller by the looks of it using my um, roller there. But you will get a gorgeous smooth finish. Wow, this actually, I think it's partly the roller, partly the paint it covers really well. But we get to see that dry. So can you see that there? And this will give you a lovely smooth finish. Now on your furniture pieces, someone was asking me, the other day um, why you would use the fluffier nap. So this is a 10 millimeter nap. This one's a five mil. So this is gonna get you a nice smooth finish. But I think that um, one of the things that happens with this one is you can, it's actually got more um, depth to go around. You know, you see grooves and edges on pieces of furniture. So you can go into the, if a piece of furniture has the, one of those beveled edges that kind of goes down and in the grooves like that. I'll be using these a lot. So I will show you some more demos as we go, um, but I'm going to use a bit more paint. Oh, I've got some drips here, sorry guys. Okay, so just rollering that. If you've never used a roller before, it does make really super quick work of your furniture painting. So if you've got really nice big surfaces to work on. <coughs> And this is raw plywood. So it'll be a little bit different if you're working with something that's already got paint on it. Uh, this is just soaking right into the wood now as well. So, so they come in, oops, I've got the hair. Looks like a cat hair <laughs> on the board. And let me see, right here, I can just see a little bit of fluff coming off the microfiber roller. 
So like I said, first time use, you probably want to do what they say, rinse and spin before you begin. And Sharon did not do that today. So that will help to probably get some of those, remove some of those fibers that might like to stick out a little bit. And now we've got a nice surface to stencil and work on. And I probably will do a second coat once that's dried. Um, but the mineral paint is really quick drying, super quick drying. So that's the color cotton. It's uh, just a slightly off-white color. And I've got two different shapes of signs. Now, if you've just joined me, yeah, Nancy says, good idea lining the pan with foil. Um, yeah, that was looking quite ugly. So I thought it'll look nicer for the video <laughs> if I add some foil and just line it a bit. It had some dried up paint in there. Plus you can just remove the alfoil and then continue. If you've just joined me, I'll just show you what I'm doing. I've removed the canvas. So some of the sides have glue on it. I've removed an old canvas that I had picked up from just an op shop, a charity store here in Australia. And I look for the nice quality wood frames. Then I'm going to stain this and then, you, then I'm going to put it on the outside of this. First of all, I'll stencil the, a sign, lovely sign in the middle, stain the, the wood. Um, so we'll probably be doing this in progressive steps, but it's a super easy way to create a farmhouse sign look. So I've already rolled this in the pan. Can you imagine how quick, how nice and quick this is? And to get no brush strokes on your pieces of furniture when you're doing those, and even your signboard making, you could do a whole bunch of signs all at once. You could line them all up. So it's a microfiber roller, and it really gives a lovely finish. Yeah, everyone's saying this, that alfoil, having that in there, aluminium foil, is such an easy cleanup, easy cleanup process. Just trying to make sure I haven't missed any comments. Yeah, if you are watching from the USA, I just wanted to remind you guys that Essential Stencils pre-orders are available today and you can use my code I restore stuff over there at Essential Stencil and I've got a link right there in the comments of this live. There we go. So you can see as that dries, it's really soaked into the plywood. So I do have a, a fair bit left in my um, pan there that I can roll again with, but I just wanted to quickly come on here live, show you the microfiber rollers that we now have available shipping Australia wide. So just pop one in as you order your paints. So we do stock um, now. You can pre-order your artisan mineral paint. So that was the color cotton. Comes in some gorgeous colors. So I will pop the link for that, for the artisan um, range in here in the, in the comments, but you can see they come in actually a 600 mil. So if you're in Australia, this will be of interest to you. 600 mils and they're Australian brand. Um, just trying to click on the link at the same time so I can share that with you. Uh, mineral paints come in gorgeous colors and this comes in a 600 mil and a 200 mil. So you've got a smaller version. If you just want to paint a few things, this pot will cover a whole bunch of furniture. Uh, so the larger pot is $40 and the smaller one $20. So they'll be at my um, Camp Hill Antique Centre in the booth there as well next week. I've just popped a link right there in the comments for those. But that was all I wanted to show you today was the unboxing of our two Fussy Blokes rollers. They do also come in the larger roller size. So the semi-smooth and the smooth right there. Um, these are a couple of New Zealand blokes, so they've, um, the, the rollers, the Two Fussy Blokes rollers, I actually first discovered these via someone in the UK, an Instagram um, girl that I follow in the UK was raving about them, and she's a furniture painter, and so I was looking them up, so I've um, tried them out for a year or so, really love them, and um, so yeah, you can get those right now at irestorestuff.com. Under the brushes and rollers section of my shop. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you missed that, we have just painted some plywood using the new, my new Fussy Blokes, two Fussy Blokes rollers, and that plywood is going to create some gorgeous farmhouse frames. So, stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram and um, Facebook stories 
for some of the behind the scenes on making those. So thanks so much for joining today, guys. I'll see you next time.